Welcome to C-Sharp for daily use. Today we will check together the options to find and terminate running processes on our computer with the help of C-Sharp. For this we will build a small task manager that we can extend later. Now let's create a fresh Visual Studio project for our example. We use Visual Studio 2022 for this example. If you need help with the first steps or installation check out my basic tutorial for C-Sharp to get an overview and start point. So let's start. The first thing we do is create a small layout. We use a list view for the display of the running processes which we equip with the necessary columns. Two buttons that will be used later for searching and terminating the processes. Additionally, we use a checkbox for a special filter. After we have equipped the list view with the appropriate columns we have to set the settings of the list view to details. We also change the background color for a better look and add grid lines to the view. Now that we have our layout ready we can start coding. The layout is just an example, feel free to create your own. This has no effect on the code. We start by writing our own method that collects and outputs all running processes of our computer. We use our checkbox to establish a filter to switch between processes with active UI and without.
We use an existing class from the net framework and its method get processes to fill an array with all processes. We can then simply loop through this with a for each loop and use everything we are interested in for our list view. To determine if it is a program with an active UI, meaning with a visible window, we simply use main window title and check if it has a content string or not.
Now we quickly create the code to kill a process selected in the list view. After that we can test the program. We limit ourselves here to the basic functions and visualize only some data from the process. You can extend it as you like and bring in your ideas. Before we test our task manager, we set the list view to full row select. Now we are ready to test. With the load refresh button we see now all running processes on our own computer. If I set the checkbox we can change it to only them with a main window. That makes it easier to found what we need. Let's make a small test with the paint tool on our PC. Just see if we can found and kill it with our task manager tool. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment with ideas, wishes or improvements for further content. If you like my videos, I would be happy about a like for the video. If you want to support me further and not miss any videos, just subscribe to my channel.